talking with Harry Carson, giant great Hall of Famer. I think the giant fans willed you into the Hall of Fame. Well, you know, it was uh, it was about um, waiting for an awful long time to get me there. They supported me over the years, and I think in a way, yeah, they did. And uh, Wellington Mara, he sort of worked his magic as well. And, uh, you know, that's, as far as I'm concerned, it's history now. It's two years ago, and we're just moving forward. Well, you're a Hall of Famer. The Giants are having a great year. What do you think will be the result on Sunday? Well, it's definitely going to be a win for the Giants. I don't know what the score is going to be. I really don't care as long as it's one point more than the New England Patriots. Now, you've been the honorary uh, co-captain. Are you going to be that again for this game? Well, no one has gotten in contact with me. Uh, I'll be out there tomorrow. I'll go see the team while I'm out there and perhaps uh, say one or two things to help them on. But I don't think they need my help anymore. I, I think they know exactly what the deal is right now. It's about playing for every fraction of an inch and just giving their all on every play. Not leaving anything, every, leaving everything on the field. Well, leave everything and, and more on the field. And when they walk off the field, have absolutely no regrets, regardless of how the game goes. Number 25 of the New York Giants, R.W. McQuarters, who returns all their punts, plays defensive back and the nickel and everything else. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Well, you look different than the last time I saw you up in Albany. Yeah, um, a lot lighter, um, a lot shorter hair, but I uh, feel good. And you donated that hair that you had taken years to grow, right? Yes, I donated to Locks of Love Foundation. What a nice gesture on your part, because I know from standing next to you and taking your picture, that hair came all the way down to the middle of your back. Yeah, it was almost, it was covering up my name and half of my number, and, uh, you know, it just got to a point where it was time for me to cut it. I had it eight and a half years. I kept a couple of them, but uh, I donated the rest of them, and, uh, you know, I've never looked back since. How fearless do you have to be to return a punt in the NFL? I, I can't imagine standing there knowing they're all racing down to hit you, and you don't want a fair catch it. You want to run with it and do something with it. What goes through your mind? Uh, you just, I mean, you, you have to be a, just a little bit crazy for the most part, <laughs> just a little bit. But, uh, you know, the, the, the main thing that goes to my head is just catch the ball. And, you know, I, that's where it starts, and nothing happens after that. So that's the most important thing at that moment is just catch the ball. And that's, that's what really goes through my head is make sure I catch it, make sure I get a read off the punter's foot, and, and judge, judge the win and judge, you know, how the rotation of the ball. And that's one thing the Giants really like about you returning punts is that you secure the ball, you, you don't cough it up. Yeah, that's, you know, that's something I take pride in. It's, it's my opportunity to carry the ball and hopefully try to get in the end zone. But uh, I may get six returns a game, may get eight, I may get two. You just never know. So you never know which one is going to be that one or going to be the important one. So I just try to average a first down, you know, just a first down 10 yards and, and, and help position our offense to score more touchdowns. And what would you rather play, that kind of an offensive position where you might score or a defensive back where, again, you could score, but more likely you're going to break up a pass or make a tackle? I don't know. They're, they're both rewarding, and, and, and getting an interception is very rewarding, and I think uh, you know getting a touchdown is, is, is a huge adrenaline rush. So I think they're both in, in the good, but I think the guys that score touchdowns, they get paid the most. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Stay healthy, and uh, we'll look for you in the end zone. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we're talking, I think, literally with the newest giant, Dominic <laughs> Hickson from uh, Denver, came over on waivers, number 87, wide receiver, plays special teams. You've been an impact player on the specials. You've been getting down and making a lot of plays. Uh, you know, uh, we, I think, you know, we got a good special team scheme going right now, and, you know, we just all just out there playing hard and, you know, just want to contribute. Yeah, and how about wide receiver? Would you like to get in a few plays on that? You know, I would, but the thing is, you know, we got a lot of talented wide receivers, so, you know, I'm still, you know, lobbying, trying to work my way in there. All right, now, so you come from the Mile High City to the right. Meadowlands. What's it like being in the Big Apple, or at least in its neighborhood? I mean, it's great. I mean, you know, the fan support that you get and everything, and, you know, just the coaching staff that they have here, you know, very knowledgeable of the game, and, you know, teammates alike. You know, they're working hard, and, you know, we're, we're putting something good together. Now, you were involved in that unfortunate incident uh, in a game where the, the fellow that ran into you was severely injured, but looks like he's on the, the road to recovery. Right. What does that do to a player? Um, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, it's kind of reality check and you know that, you know, every play, you know, something like that could happen and, you know, you're just blessed and fortunate, you know, if it doesn't happen to you. But, you know, he's recovering like you said and, you know, Lord willing, he'll make 100% recovery. Yeah, well, good for you. And uh, we hope to see you a lot more on the field, number 87 right. of the Giants. You're happy to be here. Oh, yes, sir. All right, thank you, Doug. All right, thank you. Join us for Mike Bennett on the Road every Tuesday and Friday night at 6 on Channel 6 Time Warner in the Hudson Valley. And for highlights, go to MikeOnTheRoad.com.